Welcome everyone to this YouTube channel. The times change with each passing day and include us all in them with all that we have been and are but especially with what we could become and be. However, we are also permeated by what we see and live every day, so that it seems that we cannot, and many times it seems that we do not even want to be encompassed by the new heaven and the new earth, which are towards making and building and seeing from the unseen world more and more and closer to us. Someone up there has loved us so much and for so long wanting a decision and if we can make a change for our good the one in heaven. But it cannot be without us wanting and desiring this happiness that has been bestowed upon us from the beginning of time until now and forever. Love wants to embrace and embrace us and we often remain cold and indifferent because so much we are stolen and taken towards what we want to do and be. This YouTube channel The Heart of Jesus is waiting for you presents and gives you heavenly love letters sent down to us then and now from our Lord Jesus Christ and from the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that we may prepare ourselves properly for the heavenly wedding of the Lamb God. Today we present the word of God spoken by our Lord Jesus Christ in the New Jerusalem Monastery in Romania. God's Word on Apocalyptic Fire Part 9 1999-2000 Man, from the beginning did not listen to me, from the beginning he became my adversary and broke away from me. Since then I have worked in every way to give man repentance, to make him seek me and wait for me and desire me again over him through his obedience to God, but man no longer sat down to me listen, but I kept calling him, until I came myself to meet the man, but the man did not know me that I am, and took me and took me to the hill of Gapatanii and nailed me to the cross, like the liar who makes himself God. Oh, he had better be nailed to the cross, but he is blind and sees nothing and is locked in ignorance and does not know. But I told him through the prophets, that he might know from them, I told man that I come from the Father to redeem him from himself and place him in me. But he didn't want to, and he took me and nailed me to the cross when I came, and then I gave the price of man's life through my death and I resurrected him with my resurrection. The man didn't want it that way either. The man did not return to me. Man did not sit down to live eternal life. Now I have placed my throne of judgment on earth, and I pour out from it the word that cleanses and I show man the work of justice. My word is the river of fire that cleanses man with its love, with its heat, with its heat that washes man to the bone, to the insides of man, I watched from above, the working sons. I gathered the people of this village near you and sent them manna from the sky, so that they would stoop down and eat from the sky, and I looked at you opening their mouths to give them and to taste for those who are with you from heaven. I put in you my mercy for man and I filled you with love and the word, and I stayed in you and worked to revive man for the love of heaven, because what is on earth separates man from me, and man departs from me. I feel very sorry for the man, dear sons. Hearts come from afar to the spring and drink of the living water, and those who are near the spring stay in their own and are not cleansed by this spring that flows to you from heaven. I love this village, because it is the village of my word, and I want to make them all smart and make them listen to me, and shake and sweep and wash and smooth the bad ones in them, and I give of my life and urge them for the eternal ones. You also will, sons of my garden, because the word with which I come to you sweeps and shakes and washes and smooths, because I want to wash the earth with this word and renew it through the word, through the fire of the word of the Holy Spirit, if man also wants it, and if man doesn't want it like that, I will cleanse the earth like Sodom and Gomorrah, and then I will give it to those who love me and want me to come. And now, at the end, I call out to man with fire and say to him, Man, O oh man, arise from your rest and sit down in my rest, for you have tired me bitterly, and I shake with fatigue and I arise and ask you about my rest. O oh man what have you done O, oh, how long, man? Answer me. Until. The time has come for you to give me this answer, for the angels weep bitterly for your distance from God, and the earth groans under your weight, and you are heavier than the earth, and the earth groans and begs me to shake it and sweep it and wash it and make it smooth for the great time, for the great day of its deliverance and the sons of God, for the earth has waited for the sons of God, as it was written in the scriptures to be, and behold, the scripture of the sons of God was fulfilled on earth among men. And I, with a voice of thunder, carry myself from the edges to the edges and call out far and wide to the man on earth and bring him the news of the kingdom of heaven, which comes from heaven to earth for the fulfillment of the scripture of a new heaven and a new earth on earth, and bring to man the news of the fulfillment of the scripture of the revelation of the sons of God. Amen.
I am he who took from among men and made my sons and prepared them with a word and sanctified them with life and faith and deed and love and called them the sons of God among the sons of men, and I gave them the book of the judgment of the creature, for with them I write it on the earth, and I place it before men for judgment, for I came into this world two thousand years ago for judgment, to make them see the those who do not see, and to show their darkness to those who say they see. And so I work today, and so I come today to those who see, to shame those who do not see, but boast that they see. But he who sees, sees me and sees my coming, because I come to that one and make my home with him and dine with him and appear to him, as I promised through my scriptures two thousand years ago year old. And behold, I come with the word and the fire, to cleanse with them, and you, man, will choose. I want to do you good with the word through your faith in my word coming on earth, for your preparation for my coming, for your clothing from me, man, and if you want me not to do you good with the word my one who comes to you from me, then you will love the fire in which you stand, and it will burn over you and crush you, because it is the time of the judgment of the creature. Amen, O man, take the scales from your eyes and see my coming, and take the scales from your ears and hear my cry with which I come before you with the sons of my father, with the sons of my word, with the sons of God, man wondering I carry myself after you with them, so that you take me from them, that I give myself to them for you, and you take me from them, that I come with the word and with the fire, and you will choose what you will take. Take the word, and cook yourself through the teaching of my word. Do not take the fire, for the fire will be for all sinners who will not leave the sin destined for the fire. Take, man, from heaven, that I am coming with heaven on earth, and I have come, and I have placed on earth the law of heaven with the sons of God. And if you will hear me, then be careful, because in heaven no sin is committed. In heaven, heavenly food is eaten, as I taught the first man in heaven. When I placed man in heaven, I told him nothing but what to eat and what not to eat so that he would live and not die. You should know, man, that all things in heaven are or fall from man through food, because the human body is a temple either for God or for the devil. Know thou, O man, that life dies in man by food, and life is holiness that lives forever. You should know, man, that sin awakens in man through food, for man is flesh, not spirit. Oh, if man had wanted to eat what I told him in the beginning to eat, man would not have sinned, man would not have died by eating and by disobeying the law of heaven, but now I have brought the law of heaven to earth, and I always come with it to perfect it, and I want man to no longer be flesh and blood, because these do not inherit incorruption, they do not inherit heaven and the holiness of heaven. When Adam became flesh and blood through lust, then he lost his incorruptibility, because I said to him, if you eat what is not to be eaten, you will surely die, you will lose the incorruptibility of your body and you will lose your body. This, dear man, is why your body perishes and goes to the ground. The body that eats something other than what I told the first created man to eat, is lost and is no more, but the soul of the body cries out to me, cries out from the ground to me the blood of man, and man is not afraid that I demand blood from his hand I ask him for his life, I ask him to account for his life, and man cannot run away from this answer, and man will suffer. Even the bodies of the earth, awaiting their resurrection, will rise, some to eternal life, because they have loved it and labored in waiting for it, and others to eternal damnation, because they have labored it in the life of the flesh. I say to you, dear man, stop sinning, stop being helpless in the face of sin. Takes from my spirit, take from my power, take from the sons of God, that I have placed them between me and you. Take and come to the life of heaven, because nothing, nothing will remain on earth but heaven, man. I say to you as I said to Adam, eat from heaven, but do not eat from the earth, and eat obediently from the earth. Eat what I told you, and begin with the death of sin in you. Oh, drink nothing more than what I have made for you to drink, for I do not spring what you drink from the earth. I gave Israel water to drink. Oh, stop smoking, for this is hell and the torments of hell on earth with men. Oh, Stop fornicating, but cleanse yourself from the lust of the flesh which has made hell and hell fire in the body of man. Oh, don't eat meat, man. Oh, stop eating. Enough, man. You have made yourself the grave of so many lives with a living soul in them. That's enough. Enough, man. You will no longer be in my wedding country if you do not obey this commandment, because in Romania there will be no more killing, because I said, man, do not kill, and I said, man, do not be debauched, and I said, love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul and with all your love, man. And if even today you do not hear what I told you, 
and if you keep taking from man and not from me for your life, soon you will see me and you will hear me when I say to the wicked, Go, you, the accursed ones, in the unquenchable fire of you, at the payment after the works, where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth, because you did not hear God and did not want life and lived dead before me. Here is the time of judgment, and I call man from death to life, from hell to heaven, to the eternal wedding day, with my bride from the Romanians, because in her I favor. Amen, amen, amen. This is the end of today's message. <coughs> May God bless you and keep you close to his sacred heart. Amen. <laughs>